Hello everyone and welcome to my first impressions video for Combat Air Pilot 2. This is a modern air sim that is currently in early access and the nice people at Take 2 uh, gave me a key to this so I jumped on to try it out and just wanted to share with you what my impressions were. Now this would normally be where I would jump into a live first mission but as we'll see, there isn't really that option, so we'll just make do with this background random footage that I've put together from my various trials here. And right off the bat, that kind of gives a hint to what my first impressions are, is this is not really ready for even early access. This is not an early access game at this point. This is more of a tech demo than anything else, a proof of concept rather than an actual playable game. There are very, very few missions. Most of the missions are, quote, tutorials, and those tutorials don't actually instruct you on anything. Uh, they are just a list of objectives uh, along the lines of start engines, set throttle, take off, uh, with various uh, targets that you can uh, head towards. So there are various uh, weapon implementation tutorials uh, against static targets or AI that either don't react or don't shoot back, all mostly for you to figure out how it works as you go along. The missions that do involve hostile AI, the hostile AI do not fire back. They do maneuver around you. They do seem to try and make small passes on you, but for the most part they just seem to try and disengage. So they're just targets to shoot at and play around with the different weapon settings. Now the uh, current version does come with the mission editor, but every attempt I made at putting in a hostile aircraft would just crash the game. And so I don't think the AI is implemented at all at this point, at least hostile AI is just not available. Uh, and so there really isn't much to do at this point. But looking ahead, I wanted to try and get a bit of a feel of where this game is trying to fit in with the current space. I was really, really excited to see new uh, sims being developed. I know we've got Combat Pilot on the way, and that is looking really good. A lot of experienced devs there. But right now, when it comes to the modern air scene, you've pretty much either got DCS or you've got much, much more arcadey modules. There isn't a lot of choice out there. And I do firmly believe that we do need more air sims on the market, mostly, if nothing else, just to add some competition so that uh, Eagle Dynamics can't sit on their laurels and just continue as they are. They have to try and do something else, try and do something a bit better to keep things going, keep innovating to keep things interesting. They're not going to need to do that unless they've got some competition. So really happy to see some competition. But when it comes to actually playing this through, I'm not really sure where this is going to fit in. The game it mostly invokes to me is VTOL VR both in terms of its complexity and level of fidelity and detail that's going on. It's kind of that middle ground between an arcadey game and something like DCS or IL-2 that's a much more sim-like. Its graphics, I'd say, are a little bit better than VTOL VR. VTOL VR is very much aimed uh, to be a VR uh, capable on even sort of moderate computers. And this seems to have gone with very much the same thing. This is VR enabled. I didn't try it on VR, I was just sticking with flat screen for this little first test. Uh, but it does seem like it should run pretty well on VR. It certainly runs absolutely fine on flat screen. Uh, but the graphics are nothing to write home about. But they're not bad. You get a good sense of immersion there. Definitely still needs a lot of work. Particularly the explosion effects, particle effects, I think really need to be hammered out there to make things give you a little bit more feedback there. The bigger difference though I would say is in terms of the immersion. For VTOL VR the big uh, draw is that you've got this fully interactable cockpit. So when you are in VR you can flip every switch, you can grab every control. In this, at least at time of uh, recording, the cockpit is completely uninteractable. 
Uh, you can't click on it, certainly can't use VR controls to manipulate it. Does come with a bit of the advantage that you can absolutely play this with HOTAS, and I know a lot of people are put off of VTOL VR because you do need to use the VR controllers, you cannot set it up for HOTAS. So if you're looking for a VR uh, combat sim, but you want the uh, throttle, you want HOTAS controls instead of uh, the controllers that you use in VTOL, maybe this is something that's worth keeping an eye on. The other thing that sets this apart a little bit from VTOL VR is uh, it does use real world planes. VTOL VR has all of these off-brand versions of planes, very, very similar to real world planes, but everything's a little bit off-brand, a little bit uh, tweaked just so they don't have to deal with licensing issues and um, so if that is off-putting to you then yeah maybe this will be worth while now comparing this to something like dcs it is much much simpler all of the controls are much easier it's much easier to get into and learn even with the slightly non-existent tutorial uh, it's certainly easy to pick up and play and get missiles off nice and consistently so you definitely don't need to put in the same amount of effort. At the same time, you're not getting the same amount of fidelity there. Very much along the lines of VTOL VR in terms of its difficulty curve rather than DCS. And so that might be a plus for you, might be a big minus for you. Uh, really going to change from player to player. So yeah, if development goes well, I can certainly see this taking uh, the sort of role that VTOL VR has. I don't think it's going to replace VTOL VR at all. Uh, but it could sit in there in that same sort of niche, uh, being a moderate complexity modern flight sim with really good VR capability and compatibility. I think that would be fairly good. I'm really not sure if I could see myself playing this over VTOL VR. VTOL VR just has so much immersion, but it might be a case that if I just want to use a HOTAS or if I'm really looking for, uh, say, real-world aircraft, certainly this might be worth a shot. One thing just to cover, it does have a variety of maps. I was really excited to see that it in fact had a northern UK map, which is a first among modern flight sims, at least modern combat flight sims. Uh, Microsoft Flight Sim, of course, has an absolutely gorgeous worldwide map. But then I was a bit disappointed when I did fly around on it. It is very much like uh, VTOL VR's maps in that they are altitude maps uh, lifted from uh, some map source file, and then they have assets randomly spread over them. So there are really not that many recognisable uh, features. I was testing it out and flying along the Firth of Forth, and, well... Edinburgh doesn't exist, neither do any of the fourth bridges, and so it is just there, it's just imported, you can get the exact same thing from VTOL VR. So yeah, to sum all of it up, I am hopeful for this one, I will definitely be keeping an eye on this as it goes through development. Uh, I think it could carve out a pretty decent niche uh, something a little bit more approachable, or rather a lot more approachable than DCS, but not needing the VR support uh, that uh, is a bit of a bottleneck for getting into VTOL VR. I can see this doing good, I can see it bringing new people into the flight sim community, but right now I absolutely cannot recommend that you pick this up. In its current state, it is just not worth it. I cannot recommend anyone part with money to buy a tech demo, and that's all that we have right now. So one to keep an eye out for in the future, one to keep an eye on, but not something I'm going to be putting any time in right now. If any of you have tried the game, please do let me know what you thought about it down below, and otherwise I hope to catch you in a future video. Until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.